Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And uh, now we're not going to call it Spitting Venom, aka Venom Vlog anymore. It's just going to be Venom Vlog. Uh, we were doing Symbiote Stream for a while, and that name I liked it because the alliteration of S and S and like Venom Vlog V and V. Uh, but I decided I always liked the the term Spitting Venom, and I always wanted that to be the name of this show. But Venom Vlog kind of stuck, so I've changed my Twitter name uh, has always been Venom Vlog, but now my Instagram name is at Venom Vlog. So now you can find me on both at Venom Vlogs to, you know, to kind of brand everything a little bit easier. Um, and then we're going to do our gaming channel, which is called Spitting Venom. And that is at youtube.com slash Spitting Venom. And that's my secondary channel. Apparently some of you guys kept subscribing to it, even though I never uploaded a video on that channel in over a year. And uh, a lot of people, you know, have been asking me, hey, can you just put your gaming channel, your gaming streams and stuff, you know, away from the Venom Vlogs? So that way we can just focus on Venom Vlogs. Because I noticed there's not a ton of crossover with people who watch this show who like news things or like updates on Venom, and not a lot of them like to sit around and watch playthroughs. And I totally get it. I understand that completely. So it's probably best, that it was probably a bad idea for me to combine them and make them one channel last year. So in 2019, we have now separated them. So if you go to my gaming channel, I'll put a link down below. For those of you who like gaming stuff, I'll keep everything gaming, you know, related as far as streams go over there. I'll still do my history of uh, Resident Evil videos here, and I'll still do a couple other things. And I left a few streams on here just to have them here uh, but mostly everything's now moved over to that second channel that is video game related so uh, make sure you subscribe to that if you like video games I'm going to be doing video game reviews on there now uh, this year so any game we play this year on twitch stream uh, I will also do a video review of it um, so I will actually review video games uh, which is something I've wanted to do for a while as well uh, now that I figured I figured I learned a little bit more about editing now I think I could probably pull it off so you'll see at least maybe one uh, you know to two possibly you know reviews for video games a month over on that channel uh, but for here on this channel obviously we're sticking to Venom Vlog we're gonna do our new shows which uh, starting in February Monday and Friday uh, we're gonna have the Venom Vlog you're gonna get two episodes a week one on Monday one on Friday that means any news that we can capture over the weekend we'll talk about on Monday and then throughout the week if any new updates come out we'll talk about them on Friday so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna do two Venom Vlogs a week uh, but sometimes you might get a third one if like a lot of news comes out and I can't do them in two videos or if I want to squeeze in like a comic review or something so you'll see a lot of that coming up uh, Monday and Friday starting in February Venom Vlog and then on Tuesday you'll get the Spawn show on Wednesday you'll get a new show called Old Man Seek where I basically review old Marvel comics I have a bunch of Marvel stuff lying around and there's a lot of it I want to talk about so we're gonna do it on that show and I'm gonna get I hope this gimmick doesn't get old uh, but basically I got a bingo machine and so you just rotate it a ball comes out and on the ball I wrote a bunch of non MCU movies like older comic movies like uh, Dolph Lundgren Punisher and things like that and the X-Men movies and Blade and all that uh, I put those on some of the little white balls that come in there and then also some old comics like random ones to discuss and review so that's what old man seeks going to be it's going to be a random show where i just rotate this thing something spits out and then i got to review whatever that is and discuss it so that'll be a fun show hopefully you guys dig that on wednesdays and then on thursdays all of our dc stuff joker everything else uh, joker related um everything you know batman hush related all that stuff is going to be now just you know whittled down to one show called beyond the source wall and we're just going to keep that show going and that's going to be our dc show starting with young justice season three reviews those will be coming up first. Um, but with all that aside, just want to give you guys that quick update and then in, uh, also talk about these items that came in the mail. Because back at Christmas time, I told you guys that I put in an order for something on eBay that I saw that was very unique. It was very different than anything I've ever owned for anything, any fandom I've ever had. I've never really owned something like this. And I wrote the guy and I said, hey, look, I don't have the money you're asking for, but I'm a huge Venom fan. Here's a link to my YouTube show. Um, you seem, you know, so this. this you know product that you have looks really awesome I would love to own it someday so if you don't sell it at the price you're asking for and you're willing to cut your price a little bit uh, feel free to let me know but otherwise good luck I hope you sell it and the guy wrote me back and said you know what you know I guess he checked out my link to my show and was like uh, you know let's talk let's discuss this what can you afford and we went back and forth a few emails and uh, I told him a price I was like hey look I can't do what you're asking for but I can do this and he was nice enough to give me these items or sell these items to me at this price at the cost of him losing money on them because he bought them at like an auction and then uh, was trying to flip them so he lost money on them and uh, you know I know how that is I've, I've, I've certainly lost a lot of money on stuff trying to resell stuff uh, so I totally understand the bummer that is uh, but I, I promise this guy would give this a good home and that spot blank spot back there you see is where these items are gonna go so what did I get uh, the gentleman who sold them to me his name is Chuck so I want to give a big shout out this episode is dedicated to you Chuck 
Thank you for you know adding this. This is going to be the new angle where I shoot my show from now on. I'll try to see if I can put some artwork or something on the TV, uh, but you'll see the Venom vlog thing there. I'll try to light it better if I can, uh, but I think these images will be really cool. They'll fill up that spot there. And basically what this is, is a um, concept art. You guys saw these on the, uh, the Venom site. They had exclusive look at like 20 or so designs that were used for Venom, that were designed for Venom, that were not used in the movie. And uh, these like 20 designs just were, or whatever, 20 or less, I think, uh, these designs were never used in the movie, but it was them trying to come up with alternate versions of Venom without the spider on his chest, without the veins, trying to come up with different designs. So this is the actual original version of these, um, and I have the certificate of authenticity. I'll show that in a second, but first I want to show these drawings. Uh, so check this out. This is 16 by 20, and uh, this is Venom with this really unique design on them. It even has like some of the bottom of the spider there, a little bit of the spider design, but it looks like they try to go in a new direction with whatever this is, kind of adding the Venom eyes to his chest in a way. Um, but I just thought these designs looked really cool when I saw them on the Venom site. And when I saw this for sale, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, and this guy Chuck was nice enough to sell them to me. So these are the original ones with the framing added to it. Uh, and I, like I said, I have the certificate of authenticity that I'll show here in one second. I'll have it pop up on screen. Um, but then here's the back. So it's front and back of this drawing. So, and I guess they did one of these for each of the, the 14 or 20 designs, however many designs there were. Um, so they say like spider options F, organic shape with holes. So I guess they did a version here with holes in there. And then I guess they maybe did another version without holes. But this is original concept art from the Venom movie, or like, you know, like one of one printing version of it. Uh, the, but like the, you can see it's all scratched up. Even the certificate of authenticity shows the scratches on the scan that they did. So I think these are all the original versions. You can kind of feel some of the scratches in there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, this for me is the coolest thing ever. And so I, I gotta give a big shout out to Chuck. Basically all the extra money I had to spend at Christmas time, I put towards this. Uh, and then my mom ended up being like, hey, I'll give you a, a couple dollars to go towards it too to help pay for shipping. Um, so this was awesome. I mean, so I'm gonna have these both back to back on my wall back there. And like I said, I'll flash right there, the certificate of authenticity, so you can kind of see how they you know look. And uh, you know, just so awesome. I actually own a piece of a movie uh, and it's a piece of Venom, you know, of all things, which is, just fantastic because uh, I've always tried to get like piece of memorabilia from movie I know my friend Victor when he worked on the uh, Dark Knight movie uh, Dark Knight Rises he was there in the like the place where Bane robbed and Bane shot that like machine gun and my friend was you know was able to get a couple bullets and give them to me you know from Tom Hardy's gun that came out of the out of the gun and so I have a few little things like that from movies but nothing with like a certificate you know or nothing like that to make it legit although of course I believe my friend <laughs> obviously he was there uh, but still at the same time it's like uh, you know it's neat to actually own a piece of you know history in a way in a movie history and for me to have it to be an unused design of venom is really really cool i, I love that because i love design i love you know artwork and stuff like that obviously i read comic books uh, i love seeing the ideas that never got to be used so to have this because i've been wanting an art book for venom ever since you know the movie came out after i saw it i was like i would love to see all the things that didn't make it in the movie and put into a book and I you know like that's why I hope like I would love to w make that book for Sony <laughs> like I would love to go and you know track down some interviews track down some things talk to some people that worked on the movie uh, take some pictures and then get some of these things scanned in and actually make a book for Sony uh, like they did with the art book which I have back here the art of spider-verse um, I just read through that recently and that was a gorgeous book put together very well and uh, I've put together books myself comic books graphic novels and I think I could really do a good job so I don't know I'm gonna to try to find someone to reach out to because now I want to make it a goal of mine to reach you know to find a lot of this stuff and put together like a comprehension look a comprehensive look at some of this behind the scenes stuff from the Venom movie um, of course stuff that would be allowed to share but again you know hopefully I could do it you know the right way and get through to Sony and do something like that uh, but this is just the beginning this is the beginning of that journey of where I'm going to try to see if I can m reach you know those levels of people uh, because they need to make an art book for this movie I like the movie a lot uh, I know a lot of people didn't but I think there was a lot of thought and design put into this there's a, into the movie and there's a lot of Easter eggs put in there and I would love some kind of book that kind of you know 
captured all that in one. Um, I think that would be really great. Maybe they'll do it for the sequel. I hope so. Um, but yeah, I want to hear what you guys think of these pieces of artwork. Chuck, thank you so much for selling them to me at that price too. Like I don't want to get into you know how much money I spent. Uh, it wasn't like a, t a ton, a ton. For me, it was a ton. I mean, to me, $20 is a lot of money. Um, so especially with all the medical stuff and everything I've had go on lately. So this was a big win and I can't wait. So now I'm going to have them hanging right there. And uh, next time when I do the next show, you'll see them in the background. And we do have a lot of stuff coming up uh, that we're going to talk about. Obviously, the sequel was officially announced. Uh, Ruben Fleischer, not sure if he's going to come direct. If you remember my videos from around uh, the holidays, you heard me say that. Um, I kind of heard rumors about that as well, that he might be working on Zombieland 2. So I tried to squeeze that into a video just as like a like a backhanded comment, but it seemed it seems like that may happen. He may not come back. I'm not sure. I hope you know that his schedule frees up, but it looks like he might not. And then Kelly Marcel, she's coming back as the writer, and she was the the, the last person to put on the script, I think, with William Beale. Uh, Beal, and uh, she did a lot of the write, uh, the writing of the movie when they were and the rewrites of the movie when they were on set. And she was with Tom Hardy um, on set. And he has a lot of pictures of her saying that she's a legend and that you know he worked out things with her as a producer and her as the writer to like change in the script when they were making the movie. So um, looks like she's coming back to write the actual full script without a first draft before her, and she's doing it all herself, or at least the first draft herself. So um, we'll see. We'll talk about that more and more in uh, future videos. Those will be coming up in the early you know early February. But I just wanted to get this video out there so you guys know I was well enough to record a couple streams this week. I've been streaming this week, trying to get my energy back up, seeing if I can last, you know, one hour streams. And now that I'm doing that pretty consistently, I was like, okay, let's make a video tonight and let's get everyone ready for the Venom blog returning in February and all the other shows we got coming up for February. So let me know what you guys think down below of this artwork and of the shows we have coming up and of this information that I've given you about the next coming episodes. Are you excited that Venom's, you know, moving forward? Woody Harrelson's been cast. Obviously, he's going to be returning is Carnage. Tom Hardy's coming back. A lot of people coming back. I can't wait to see all the announcements coming up and we will, you know, talk about all of them on this show in February. Thanks so much for watching my show. Thanks for being so patient with me through the holidays and through me being sick and everything. I am back now, uh, but give me another week. I got to play Resident Evil 2 this week uh, when it comes out on Friday. So make sure you follow me on Twitch so you can see my live streams. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my other channel if you want to see the videos go up there. More history of Venom, uh, more history of Resident Evil videos coming out. Definitely history of Venom videos coming out in February. So we got a lot of stuff coming up. So hopefully you guys stay subscribed and stay tuned and we'll have some fun together. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.